She had originally lived with a family who gave her up to a shelter once they had children. I'm a good girl. And then she was adopted by a very loving family who unfortunately had to come to the hard decision of giving her up as Lucy had some issues. So she came to live as a barn cat at their friend's barn in New York, which happens to be the barn I live across from. She was so scared because at that point she was not an outdoor cat. She was not used to it. See? She ran away for three weeks and I didn't know what happened to her. I was walking home one day and I saw out of the corner of my eye this scraggly little gray and white cat who looked so malnourished and dirty. I said, Lucy, and she turned around and she meowed at me and then she ran to me. She followed me home that day and she never left. <laughs> I was 13 when I met Lucy. I think when she saw me, she felt hope, like this was her chance. She was going to have somebody who was gonna love her. Unfortunately, my parents have a no pet rule in my house due to medical reasons. So a few years was very difficult because I'm still in high school and I wasn't able to bring her inside. Hey, stinker. It was heartbreaking. I couldn't take care of her the way she needed to be taken care of. I would sleep outside with her. I gave her food. I gave her water. I would make these little beds and shelter her from the wind under the porch. Come on. When it would snow, it was very scary because the snow would sometimes be above her head and trying to make sure that she wasn't going to get lost in that. It was a very gradual process of her being able to come inside. Around when I was 15, she started sleeping inside. Right now, she lives in a different section of my house still due to my parents having medical health issues with cats. I don't want to say rule bending, but, you know, <laughs> it kind of took some some lenience uh, on, on the rules. Goody. I'm 17 now. I have a job and I'm able to give her a safe place. She's happy. She's healthy. She goes to the vet a lot for checkups and stuff. I will be turning 18 this year and I'm working so hard to be able to get an apartment with Lucy as soon as possible. Hi, Lucy! Her original birthday was March 11th, 2013. She's a decade old. Lucy has multiple personalities. With me, I feel like she is just the definition of an angel. She is the most compassionate, loving, gentle animal you will ever meet. If I'm crying, she'll try to lick away my tears. When she's around other cats, she turns into a little bit of a sassy monster. <laughs> She will start hitting them left and right for no reason. All the cats in the neighborhood are scared of her. She hates cars. She just loves to hit other people. Like, what is going on here? <laughs> you were so sweet just a minute ago. Lucy. Ow. No, baby. She can be very cute or she can look like a very angry grandma, depending on her mood. Come on. She followed me everywhere. I live next to a nature preserve. Lucy. We go on so many walks in the forest. She loves the forest. It's like she becomes a kitten again. She's running around and having the best time. I think different generations probably view animals in a different way. I just love her so much. And I think that's a little confusing because people view cats or dogs as pets and ownership of who owns who. And I don't really have that in my relationship with Lucy. Lucy is almost like a human in my eyes. She just has such a beautiful soul.